Hey y'all, it's me, Addison. Um, I am feeding my baby right now and I'm having you propped up by a, um, a plant pot. <laughs> and I'm halfway cut out the frame, but um, it has been on my heart to do this for a while. Um, and I don't know. I don't even know if I have the right words for it all, so I'm just gonna try. I have felt very convicted lately about how much time I invest in things that in the end don't matter. Um, I know that my purse addiction is, it's like purses and planners, and both of those things are due to, um, A need of control. I like feeling like okay, this and, and and these things are good, right? Like it is good to be organized. It is good to have a little pocket brain that you can open up and see everything that needs to be done. Um, and it is good to have a home for your things that you can carry around and know that you are able to. Be prepared you know for things and to um, and it's fun to enjoy things it's also fun to like have something that you enjoy and um, that's not bad but my problem was is that I was looking for the perfect thing and I know I've said this in a past video it's just been that much more um, open to my eyes because you know the search has continued and with everything and um, now I need a diaper bag, but what, what do I need? And I don't want it to be a diaper bag that I can't use when she gets a little bit bigger. So, you know, it's just all these things. And I'm wasting so much time searching and hunting for the next thing that I'm not in the present moment where I should be. And um, I have the scripture up here. And it says, you reveal, I don't know if you can hear me, you reveal the path of life to me. In your presence is abundant joy. At your right hand are eternal pleasures. And that's Psalm once Psalm 16, verse 11. And it's like eternal pleasures. What are those? You know, like the joy that can't be taken away. The peace beyond all understanding. Like, it's not found in a material object that I can't take with me when I die. Like, I don't know. So, it's something that I have been really thinking about and uh, I was listening to Mere Christianity by C.S. Lewis and in it he talks about like I think it's a man praying for chastity but I, I heard it and it was like oh my goodness where it's like I want to pick up the phone and like watch a YouTube video on a purse or whatever and um it's and I'm like, oh, I don't need to. Lord, help me with this. But not yet. And that was like what C.S. Lewis was saying. Like, you know, this guy's asking for help with something. It's like, but then his heart's crying out, but just not yet. And I feel like that that's where I've been. Where I keep saying, I'll, I'll do better tomorrow. I'll do better tomorrow. This will be the last thing I buy. This will be the last thing I buy. And then I'll be content. And guess what? I'm never content. And so it, uh, it was saying, I don't know if it was C.S. Lewis. And then another thing I was reading, but like, Contentment comes through obedience. Like, in order for me not to have that desire for something else, I need to stop looking for something else. And that's going to be a very uncomfortable spot to be in. It's going to be very hard. And I'm gonna, probably going to have some grouchy days when I don't give in to um, the impulse that I have built strength to for so long in my life. Um, and that's going to be hard. But it needs to be done, and then it's going to get easier, and then I'm going to become more content with what I have, and be more thankful for the things I have, and um, not constantly looking for the next thing, because that promise is always in the next thing, not the thing that you just got. So, um, and I've also been, um, and it's been so gentle. Like he has been so gentle with me in this process, God. That's who I mean, he. 
Um, and so just gracious. And um, it's just like this still small voice. It's like, whose kingdom are you building? Oh, and y'all, it's so true. I have, I have spent so much time and so much energy of which purse looks more like me? Which purse is going to do this for me? Which, which planner do I think is the cutest? Which planner does this person carry? What, what, what bag does this person carry? Do they have the same lifestyle as me to make it work? And just constantly looking at like me and others to help me find it is that I. This is a reminder. Get ready for bed. Oh, it's supposed to be bed. <laughs> okay, Alexa, stop. Sorry if you have one at home and I just turned like did something with her. Um. See, this is just real life right now. But I have spent so much on my kingdom that is going to be here today and gone tomorrow. And at the end of my life, who's really going to want all these purses? Who's going to want all these planners? Um, I don't even want them now. They crowd up so much time. It's another decision I have to make in the morning of which one I'm going to carry. And it's not enjoyable. It is stressful. And then I have decision fatigue by 10 a.m. Um, and then I don't have as much to give to my kids. Or I don't have as much to give to my neighbors, my community. Um, and that should be where I'm investing my time as people. I always tell my kids, what's more important, people or things? All the while, I'm on my phone. Thing. Like, that, that's a thing, you know? And uh, am I practicing what I'm preaching? I don't think so. I know I'm not. Um, and so how can they learn when I'm constantly on YouTube or I'm constantly on social media? Um, I'm constantly on Poshmark or eBay or a website looking for the next thing. You know, it's just, um, I got to change. <laughs> And I, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm doing that. So I'm going to go on a no buy. Um, I don't know how long yet, but I'm starting today. So that's me. No new purses, no new planners. Um, and like really just exercise that muscle because it's going to be hard. But man, it's going to be worth it. So. I know this is not my normal video. <laughs> it's always like, what's in my bag? Very lighthearted. Uh, but I just had to share this because this is where I'm at right now. So I hope you guys have a thrilling Thursday and um, that you see the blessings around you. And if you're going through something hard, I pray that... Um, the Lord will see you through it and give you his peace beyond understanding and that you can trust him in those hard times because there's a lot of them. There's a lot right now in people's lives around me that are having a hard time. And I think that's kind of been my wake-up call of, like, what matters. <laughs> um, so, and if you're having a relaxing day, good i hope you enjoy that i really do and that you can just bask in um the mundane the the mundane miracles that are always around us so i know so i hope you guys have a wonderful day all right i'll talk to you later